Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Ravencoin, RVN. Let's go. Okay. All my Ravencoin people out there. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do a really quick update for Ravencoin because of the price action today. Um... Not really anything has changed for Ravencoin and me yet. Um, like I said, we need to see some volume coming in, and uh, we're not seeing it. I mean, the market is just moving. Bitcoin is up uh, really high right now. I mean, had a massive move. Uh, all the altcoins are, you know, in the green. Even Ravencoin's in the green right now. Uh, but you can see that we haven't gone anywhere. And so my analysis on Ravencoin the last couple of videos has been bearish with just a little bit of hope. Uh, but if there is any hope, it's going to be, um, it's going to take some time. And so Ravencoin right now hasn't done anything. And you can see that all the volume that's coming in, like, let me go to Bitcoin here really quick. You can see that Bitcoin, this is the 12 hour time frame that I'm sitting on, had a massive green volume candle come in here. Um, if I just put a horizontal line there so we can kind of see on the time frame that I'm on right now, let me scoot it all the way over. There's not been a single green candle that's even come close, except for this one over here, maybe. And that's when we had a massive pump over here at the beginning. Oh, uh, not at the beginning. Well, the beginning of this falling wedge that we're watching. But but uh, had this massive move. And even that um, volume candle still has a ways to go to reach what we did for Bit or what Bitcoin did today. We had a, a red candle, a volume candle here um, that was higher. But other than that, I mean, on the 12 hour time frame, I mean, that's the kind of volume we're looking at, looking for. And if we go back to Ravencoin, nothing. <laughs> I mean, we fell out of the triangle here and down, and we had some volume coming in to try and recover that. But uh, really, I mean, this is where we needed to see the volume is right now. Um, and maybe it's going to trickle down to Ravencoin. I mean, maybe Ravencoin is... I don't know. If you, if you believe in the Bitcoin to Ethereum to you know, high cap altcoins to low cap altcoins kind of money flow. Uh, maybe Ravencoin has moved to the lowest capped altcoins. And so it's going to show up later. Um, I'm not sure. But like I said in my previous videos, we have to see this volume moving. Otherwise, Ravencoin's not going anywhere. Now, the good news, well, I mean, obviously, because nobody's buying it then. But the good news is, is um, we are just kind of, we're fighting this 50 on the RSI um, we're just staying right there. We're like flatlined, uh, trying to break out. That could mean that there's going to be an explosive move uh, about to happen. Uh, I'm not sure if it is or not. Uh, that could mean it. Also, we're, we're just creeping above the zero line on the 12 hour for the um, trend directional here. Uh, and we are just fighting. I don't know if you can see it, but there's this um, right where the price action is. Let me zoom in. There's this faint white line here. Well, that faint white line is the 786 fib. Let me zoom out on the very on the macro here. So the 786 fib. This was our last line to hold on the monthly time frame, which I've been talking about. And so we are actually fighting against it on the lower time frames. On the monthly time frame, we're still yeah. See, we're below it on the monthly time frame. Of course, my line isn't like a hundred percent accurate there. But either way, we are fighting this 786 right here. On the higher time frame, on the monthly, we still have 9 days, 20 hours to go to hold it. You go down to the weekly here, and it, we're obviously fighting against it. Uh, and so I think I've been saying that I do expect us to fight in this area for a little while. Um, you can see that the trend directional wants to get another green dot here, I believe, and turn over. Uh, we do need to get that volume in. So weekly volume, now let's see, there's four days, 20 hours left on the weekly volume. Let me zoom in. So this green volume here for the recovery didn't even exceed the pushdown. Uh, we're very low on volume here for this week, but still there's plenty of time left. Uh, and again, we just need to see that volume coming in. Go back to, let's go to lower, the lower time frame at four hours. It is just flatlined right here. I mean, the good news is it's not falling, uh, but uh, it, there's no volume in all of these candles right here. It's almost zero. Uh, so we're stuck at the 786. Now, like I said, 
This could be just waiting for a big explosive move, but again, for the short term, uh, and until I see some different price action, I am bearish on Ravencoin for either flatlining or even a potential downwards fall. I know it uh, sucks to hear, but that's kind of what I'm seeing in the charts, and I'm always going to keep it honest with you. So that's uh, pretty much what I got for Ravencoin. Nothing really new. Once we get that big volume spike out of here, if that actually happens, uh, I'll come back with another video. Uh, I might not. If we're just going to be doing this, I don't know that there's really any need for me to make a Ravencoin video. Uh, so I'm going to wait and see if there's any kind of price action happening. And if there is, then I'll make one. Otherwise, you know my thesis. Anyway, that's what I got. If you like this channel, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, share with your friends, and I will talk to you later.